Slope. Let's talk about slope. Slope's what? Rise over run? Sure. Why don't we write that? Rise over run. Mm, yeah. Um, can I draw you a picture? Can I draw you a picture? If I'm trying to find a slope of a line that passes through those two points, these are just arbitrary points, okay? I'm trying to find the slope of this dotted line. In order to find the slope of a dotted line going from left to right, Daniel Sun, always, yeah, most of the time. Yeah, um, going from left to right, Daniel Sun. I just had a karate kid moment. Okay, yeah, I'm um, going from left to right. I want to see how much this thing rises, and I want to see how much this thing runs. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. I want to know this height, and I don't want to know that distance. How am I going to find that height and that distance? Arbitrarily. Um, can I draw you another picture? Sure. What is that? What is that? Is it a washing machine? No. Is it a chair? No. What is that? Nobody ever gets it. That's Utah. <laughs> yeah, that's sad that you don't know what Utah is. It's a state. Um, um, this is school. School. Schools have bells. Good stuff. <clears throat> What I want to know is how far is it from school to Utah. Many people don't know this either, right? They're like, da, 10,000 miles. Um, what you don't know is that we're in the LA area. Sure. So Utah is approximately, um, 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 720 miles from school to Utah. I guess that gets you right in the middle. Sure. This is sad, right? You didn't know what Utah was. You don't know how far you are from Utah. This is the really sad part. What is that? Oh. That's right. Vegas, baby. Vegas. That's sad. You don't know what Utah is, but all I have to do is draw the Luxor and you're like, Vegas, oh. If I can leave now, I'll be there in like four minutes. Four hours. How far is it from school to Vegas? Yeah, so quickly you say 264 miles. Sure. Um, how far is it from Vegas to Utah? Now that's the question. From Vegas to Utah. How you gonna go and get that, huh, huh? That's right. You're gonna subtract. You're going to take the big distance and subtract out the little distance, and then that's going to give you your leftover distance from here to here. Let's go ahead and perform that subtraction. 720 minus 264. Sure. Can I take 4 from 0? No. So 0 got to borrow. 0 is like, hey, hey 2, can I have 10? And 2 is like, no, dude, you're nothing. And I hate you. He's like, come on, man. Four's really sweating me. He's like, no, man. I don't want to let you. Last time I let you, you never gave it back. You're nothing, Zero. You're nothing. See how they interact? Right. But, um, yeah. Zero's like, please, please, please. And two's like, no, it's a recession. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So finally, uh, two gives it up. He becomes a one. He's like, look what you did. Uh huh. Now he's a ten. Very nice. Uh, can you take four from ten? Yeah. And you get six. Can you take six from one? Look what you did, Zero. Look what you did. Now I gotta borrow. Um, it's like Greece. Um, yeah. So he borrows from seven. Seven becomes a six, and now that's eleven. Uh, this is a five. Can I take two from six? Four. Why did I go through all that? Um, it is 456 miles, say. 456 miles. Why did I go through that gyration? I went through that gyration, not to refresh on where Utah was or Vegas or school. I went through, if we're gonna find this distance and that distance, what do we do? We subtract. We take the big one minus the little one and we get the leftovers. That's how we're gonna find this distance here. This distance, I'm gonna take the big one and subtract off the small one. So this distance is x2 minus x1. Okay. And then this distance, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the big one, y2 minus y1. Goods? Great. So if I was gonna find the slope of a line passing through two points. I know that it's the rise over the run. So I can take that quotient and I can take that. That's y2 minus y1. It's the distance over x2 minus x1. It's the distance. A lot of books use M for slope. Why? It's for mm, slope, the best word I can, or the best reason I can think of. I think the French word for slope starts with M. Um, sure.